Welcome. In Excel, you may be presented with a spreadsheet which has a large number of columns and rows. This tutorial demonstrates efficient ways for Windows users to navigate to the last column or last row without scrolling. I'll cover two key keyboard methods, one using the arrow keys and the other using Ctrl plus end or plus home. Purely for the ease of demonstration, I will use a small spreadsheet in these examples. The Ctrl plus arrow shortcut is a key for moving quickly across your spreadsheet until you hit the edge of a block of data. To move across the row, clicking the Ctrl plus right arrow jumps to the last full cell in that row. If there are no blank cells in the row, then it will jump to the end of the row. However, if there are blank cells, then pressing Ctrl plus the right arrow takes you to the cell immediately before the empty cell. Then if you keep pressing Ctrl plus the right arrow, it will jump the empty cell and you can keep repeating this until you get to the end of your row. Similarly, the Ctrl plus down arrow can jump to the final row of the sheet from any column if there are no empty cells. However, if there are gaps, then pressing the Ctrl plus down arrow stops again at the cell immediately before the empty cell. And if I press again, it jumps to the next filled cell Pressing again takes me to my last filled cell and I can continue pressing Ctrl plus the down arrow until I get to the bottom row. The Ctrl plus left arrow moves you across a row in the left direction, while the Ctrl plus up arrow jumps up the column. A benefit of the Ctrl plus arrow feature is that it can be quite helpful if you're looking to find gaps in the column or row. To get to the last cell in the last column, there are several ways. You can again use the Ctrl plus arrow keys by going across the data set, then down the data set. Alternatively, to get to the very last cell, the shortcut Ctrl plus end takes you directly there. This command completely ignores all the gaps and jumps you instantly to the very last cell used on your entire sheet. I can go back up to A1 by pressing Ctrl plus the home key. Ctrl plus home is helpful if you start getting lost in the spreadsheet and you wish to return to the start. If you found this Excel video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more practical Excel tips. Thanks for watching.